live from the command center of the JW Solar USA in Minnesota. Guys, um, I'm balancing the batteries now. So these are the 32 cells, and you can see the other modules here. And I have to, I've already ordered the, uh, the heat, high temperature uh, tape. To strap these guys I'm gonna take all these guys because it's not working well if you see all the way at the bottom it's gonna hold into this battery one of them is gonna be higher the other one is gonna be lower so if you look at it keenly you see all the uh, um, Bronx or gold plated on the side those are all the neutrals negative and uh, silver ones or like a gray whatever you call it so them are the positive ones so i use some little wire tiny wire right here it's a heavy a heavy duty strong gauge and i string them i don't have all i don't have the boss bars these ones don't even come with the boss bars so i decided to string them so i started here in the positive cut it very close and I string it all the way here. I was very careful and make a loop right here and come all the way to the second row of the battery and uh, all the positives. So trying to isolate it, stick it all the way out and go back all the way to this and make another loop right here, here and here. And I snip it right here. So I started the negative from here and string it all the way. Then I have to make a little loop, if you can see it, right there, the bottom here. I loop it so that I be very careful so they can touch with the positive because these are um, wires that are open or they are not insulated. And uh, there is another loop for the second wire sorry I gotta spin the camera around and come back here and loop it here so you can be down so I can able to identify this is a negative here and this is the positive so I came back all the way and drop that loop that loop down like a V came back up here and string it all the way and that's the end see start from this end and end to this one I start from here and end it here so I make sure I cut it all the way to very close so the power is transferring now I have I think of seven batteries I kind of a little bit lower the 3.0 something and which the other one is 3.28 nine so what is happening now the lower ones are getting charged up to get a voltage to reach a kilogram or equal and uh, here is the voltmeter with my fluke meter and I'm gonna be touching the probe on see that so the low voltage batteries or the batteries who have the low voltage are sucking the power holding it right here and the other probe is there and I put the tool to hold it down so it's 3.231 and it's gonna change pretty soon after a while the batteries are all balanced the voltage is not gonna go anywhere anymore it sits it started um, equalized by itself it's gonna drop or it's just gonna be stay the same Sorry, I'm the one moving this thing here. Okay, trying to hold it steady. See the jump nice going up. So guys, I just want to give you a rundown of everything, how you balance this battery manually. That's what I've been doing. So we're going to monitor that. We started at uh, uh, 20, 2140 hours here in Minnesota. Like and subscribe, JW Solar USA. 12 hours later, we're going to start testing again to see 
how the battery is already balanced by using our manual balancers using um, tiny wires like this which are very strong like a, a stainless steel whatever it is but I got them from the store and this is what it is we're gonna put the voltage voltmeter here with my fluke 101 and um, we're gonna test from here the positive coming from the left side and all the way to the right here which is the um, the negative here so we're gonna set the wire or the probe right here and what I'm gonna do I still gonna put my weight on this thing to make sure I keep it tight tension that because I'm using a one hand to do this and turn our voltmeter to DC the V with a little strokes and a solid stroke here here so it's on DC and we're gonna put the probe right here on this and let's see 3.8 3.283 okay let me touch the wire itself by touching the wire instead of the terminal because here it's touching the wire itself and um, touching the wire here it's so this is the voltage I have 3.285 so the ba battery is probably already balanced since uh, after 12 hours overnight and we're still sitting here maybe we'll come back later and test if it goes up okay I think it's still flickering it's about to go to 6 so the process is still going so I might probably leave these batteries alone for a while since I don't know if I'm gonna be using um, BMS or balancers but this is my um, manual balancing um, you can do whatever works for you yeah we just get a reading there it changed so 3.286 that was five but still doing after 12 hours so you can do whatever works for you and this is what is working for me at the moment and um stay tuned for the results and before that or after that we're not gonna go through and do this ones or i might probably just wait and get the the rest of them waiting for the next 24 or 48 to come so i can put them all together and balance them at the same voltage after that and linking them with these guys to make um a better uh um curved because right now this one's already been on the same voltage it's easy because this one's here, the voltage are kind of higher. If I can, okay, let me show you this. All right, 3.286. So let's take this guy here and test one of the batteries here. And I will tell you exactly what we are messing with here. So let's put a probe. And check the voltage here. It's 3.829. This one is higher. That one's a 3.826. So it's gonna be easier for these batteries here to transfer power to these ones here. Simultaneously, which this one's already sat on the same voltage. So it's really just to absorb the power from the energy from those ones and 
to these ones here easily with the same balancing voltage already balanced voltage you already have thanks for watching jw solar usa live in minnesota stay tuned for more to come live on this channel then after that we are gonna test them maybe we'll test them first before we charge them because they send them at a 30 percent so i just i just want to maybe bring them down and charge them all the way up by doing so we might probably incorporate a victron uh smart shunt on these batteries to see or the capacity we're going to be doing or capacity test what we're going to be pulling from these batteries and putting back power back into them like and subscribe jw solar usa